is up YouTube that's here bringing you guys the first episode of in a twinja in I really don't know how long it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these and it's been a hot minute since I've done like much of anything uh, this whole month I've been super sick like the uploads you guys have seen on the channel are mostly like stream highlights or some other sort of stuff and I really apologize for that like I I really really forced myself to compete in that like a world championships friendly online competition and I'm sure you guys could tell I was I was pretty sick during it but you know I got some videos up for that so hopefully you guys enjoy that type of stuff but today we're gonna be coming at you guys with a brand new team uh, I've had some requests for this sort of thing so I did my best to look up a team that could actually do what people wanted the best so uh we're gonna be using a uh, kiram white and zekrom and we're gonna be using like a fusion flare uh what is the other move it's fusion flare and um oh my gosh i should have just looked all this stuff up ahead of time fusion flare and fusion bolt of course yes we're doing a like black and white combo team for this episode and it's also gonna be be used with a scarf top with so this is like a soak zekrom soak like coco soak kartana really cool team i'm gonna write in the items here we're gonna be using a wiki berry on the Kiram White, if I call the thing Reshiram, don't don't be bothered by it because it, it's pretty much just a Reshiram, right? I mean, Reshiram's my favorite Uber, and I want to keep with the whole Reshiram theme, so that's why we're using Kiram White. But we're using Wiki Berry Kiram White. We're using Misty Seeds Zekrom. Oh my gosh, that's probably going to be pretty good. And uh, it has like Tailwind, uh, Fusion Flare. I think it has Bolt Strike as well. Yeah, so Protect Tailwind, Fusion Bolt, Bolt Strike with Misty Seeds. That thing is going to hit like a truck. Uh, after that, we have Focus Ash Bisharp, White Orb Top of Coco, Choice Scarf Top of Fini, and Assault Vest Cartana. And one thing I really want to note is that this Kartana is, like, really, really bulky. I don't think it has any points in attack. It's most, like, specialty HP and a little bit of speed. So, really cool sets. I'm leaving a link to this QR team in the description below so you guys can try it out. Hopefully, it works for me. So, we're going to hop into some games, see if we can win some. Here we go. All right, so we're going into the very first game. We're going to see Lunala, Kyogre, Tapu Koko, Ferrothorn, Incineroar, and Serena. Very standard core. I really like Lunala. But I can't wait to just soak. I, I know it has, like, the Shadow Shield ability, right? But if I soak it and, like, Bolt Strike it, do you guys think it goes down? Oh, man, that'd be so much damage. I really do think Kartana is pretty good here. Bisharp is another pretty good Pokemon in the situation, I think. Oh, wait, there's also there's a Serena over there, though, so maybe not. Maybe we just go with the tight. Wait, hey, let's start double Ubers, guys. Let's go Zekrom Kurem. Start off, and let's see what he can do about it, right? Let's see what he can actually do about it. Um, I think I'm going to bring Feeny so I can get my Misty Seeds rolling, because there's going to be a ton of special attack damage in this game. And do we want Kartana, Bishop, or Coco? I'm thinking Coco, but I'm thinking that's going to be a Scarf Ogre. So I think Kartana's probably a little bit safer. Let me see what this Kartana actually has. I just want to see if it has Sacred Sword. I'm sure it does because it's vested. Our move set is Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, not, sorry, Smart Strike, and Knock Off. I think I should probably bring Kartana. It's probably a little bit of a safer switch in, especially versus like the Ferrothorn. Like if I can expect like, a power up coming, I can just hard switch in my Ferrothorn. That'll probably be pretty good. Uh, Ferrothorn's good against, sorry, uh, Kartana's good against like Tapu Koko. It's good against Serena. It's good against everything but the Incineroar. And even against the Incineroar, uh, we can still have super effective damage with the Sacred Sword. So I think Kartana's going to be pretty useful in this matchup. But here we go, going into it, the very first game featuring this, uh, what would we call this, like, black and white? What would you guys call this? If you guys have a name for what you would call this sort of team with uh, Kiram White and Zekrom, leave that in the comments below. Maybe we can uh, start a little bit of a trend going here. So let me see. Kiram Zekrom started off. Dude, look how cool that Kiram White is. That thing looks so sick as Tapu Koko and Kyogre. And this is probably going to give us a big tell off of how this guy's speed tiering is based because Tapu Koko is normally faster, but we can see the Drizzle activate first, which means it is going to be a Scarfed Kyogre. Scarfed Ogre. Uh, but he's starting up he's starting the electric surge for me. You know how nice that what a nice guy, you know? Cause he starts it up and like Zekrom will absolutely tear him apart. Now I can go for Icy Winds or Tailwind here. I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I think I'm gonna switch out to the Kurem for my Tapu Fini and just pop a Tailwind. I think that's what we're gonna try and do here. Oof, yeah, this is going to be scary stuff. So, Fini's going to be switching. Remember, that's given our Zekrom a special D boost thanks to its Misty Seeds. And it's going to take away the terrain, which means Coco's going to hit not even as hard. And then it completely, like, hides the fact that our Fini's scarfed. So, I think this is going to be a pretty good place. We're drawing Ogre. It's probably going to be Ferrothorn and Cineroar. Uh, makes me regret that I actually kept my Zekrom in, uh, because now I'm using, like, an Intimidated Pokemon. Great play from our opponent. Um, I think it's still fine, though. I think it's still okay. Uh, I really like the fact that I went for Tailwind over Icy Wind, though, because I could have just went for, like, 
uh, protect Zekrom and Ice him, but, uh, you know what? It's okay. Let's see if he goes for a taunt on my Zekrom. That'd be pretty ballsy, I think, but it's totally possible. So let's see. Survey says Misty Seeds is up. I get that big special D-boost. Maybe he's just Volt Switching. Electro Web! Okay, so I can... I can completely agree with Electro, but that's actually a pretty sick play. Uh, Taewon's going to make me still quite fast, actually. I'm going to be quite speedy right now. And, you know, I could always go for uh, Ice Winds and stuff later on in the game, but Tailwind is up! Zekrom about to be dealing a massive amount of damage. And now I, I would want to switch here, but I don't really... I don't think I have to. I'm just going to go for the biggest Bolt Strike on that Incineroar. And uh, what do we got? We got Soak. I should just go for Soak, please. I'm thinking about tricking the Incineroar. No. I'm just going to go for a Bolt Strike. Uh, do I even need to Bolt Strike? The Coco didn't take any Life Orb damage, which makes me think it's... Uh, I really think that Coco is using a Sash Arino. So we're just going to soak Bolt Strike. I think I have to Bolt Strike the Incineroar because I'm intimidated. The Zekrom actually isn't like full attack, so it's not even that strong. So Soak coming in with the big change in Incineroar type. He did not fake out. I was planning on him fake outing the Zekrom. So Bolt Strike making connections. Can we get the one hit KO on an Incineroar but while intimidated? Survey says, oh, he's alive. No. Oh, no. So close. He's holding a berry too. Oh, man, that is just quite unfortunate, isn't it? That's just quite unfortunate. Good thing, though, for us, though. He's going to... Oh, he misses his second electro on his Zekrom. That's pretty good. He's going to have Feeny with us. So now Feeny's... So Feeny's going to be pretty slow. So I'm going to be switching out Feeny next turn, most likely. And Cinderella can go for a knockoff. What's he going to do? I don't care. Oh, I don't have to switch Feeny anymore. <laughs> I don't, I'm not scarfed. I can just kind of stay in. I can just go for, like, Moonblast or something. Yeah, that works. Uh, I am going to Fusion Bolt this uh, Incineroar. I think I can be able to kill it. Or KO, I'm so sorry. And we have Soak, Nature's Madness, Trick, and Moonblast. I think I'm just going to Moonblast Coco because I think it's I think it's Sashed. I don't think he's Specs. He's not dealing enough damage to be Specs. So we're going to break the Sash. He's withdrawing his Show me Kyogre. Show me Kyogre. Lunala. This works for me. Works for me. Fusion Bolt will break that Shadow Shield right up. And we've seen all four of his Pokemon at this point. And the way I'm looking at it, like, I have... The, the, uh, what is it? I have Kartana in the back. So, like, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. He goes for a Thunder! Peace Fiending. Good thing I didn't switch, right? Like, I don't want to switch into something like that. That's no fun at all. So, let's see. I think I might be bringing Kartana out here. Because I still technically, like, have a Tailwind. How do I push that? Does this Kyurem have Earth Power? I think it actually does have Earth Power. I have Protect, Ice Spin, Fusion for Earth Power! Yeah, buddy! Kyurem's gonna come back out. I'm just going to Earth Power up the uh, Coco slot. And I, I still think it's worth keeping the Zekrom in. Like, I, I know I've taken just a little bit of damage, but like that Misty Seeds boost, I think is going to be so valuable versus Kyogre. How many turns of Tailwind do we have? We have our last turn of Tailwind. I wouldn't be surprised to see like a Protect from Coco. I'm going to Bolt Strike the Lunala. Well, actually, is there like a Para Chance on Bolt Strike? Survey says... I think it's a 30%, yeah. So, Bolt Strike into the Lunala. Not going to be getting a KO, most likely. And just going for an Earth Power Reno into that Coco. Hopefully, can pick up a KO. If not, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Earth Power coming in fast, this thing on two legs. Cure him white. Now, I wish I had some extra damage. Well, actually, that's a vested Coco, then. That's definitely vested. Bolt Strike making more connections. Yo, I'm pretty good with this accuracy on Bolt Strike. I'm feeling it. Show me a para. That'd be pretty big. Para Para Paradise survey says no. He goes for a Nature's Madness. Yeah, it's totally gonna be one of those vested Cocos. And I wouldn't be surprised to see me lose my Reshiram. Or sorry, see, I, did, I knew I was gonna call it Reshiram. Lose my Curem this turn. I would not be surprised. Moongeist Beam coming out here. Let's see how I want to deal with this. Oh my goodness! We are extra thick, boys! The power of Ubers! Procking a wiki berry! The punish is real right now! Tail and Peter's out. Uh, I'm looking at it like this, like... My Zekrom is slow AF, right? But my, like, my restaurant... Oh, sorry, I did it again. Uh, I kind of want to just KO something. Let's just go for a Tailwind. I don't think he can taunt. He might trade Tailwinds with me. Let me think about this. He has an Incineroar as well. I'm going to go for Tailwind with Zekrom, right? That's totally happening. And I'm just going to Earth Power the Coco. What's he going to do? Switch into Incineroar? That's fine. Switch into Kyogre, take a little bit of chip damage? That's fine. Going for an Electro Web. Again, like he's probably going Electro Web and Moongeist Beam into my Kyurem. And Kyurem should just be faster than Lunala. So I shouldn't have to like 
I shouldn't have had to protect Tailwind. I think this is a good play here. So he's going for a t we're trading Tailwinds, but he's going to lose his Coco for it. And that actually works for me, because remember, we have Cartana in the back. So I think we're going to be okay. Might have to switch out uh, Kyurem. Yeah, so Coco is down. It's actually, like I said, it's pretty big. Coco's been having like a ton of dominance in this board. So Rain's going to expire at the end of this turn, I think. I wouldn't be surprised to see Ogre coming back in, but like, does Ogre really want to fight my Zekrom? No, he's going to be bringing out Incineroar here. And if he, when he brings the Incineroar out, I think I might... Uh, I got to get the Lunala off the board. Right? I got to get that thing off the board. I mean, I sure I could just double protect. Let me think about this. Because I'm really thinking I could just double protect here and then just knock off that Lunala. Hmm. Let's go for a Bolt Strike on the Incineroar. I'm gonna sw I'm gonna switch my Cartana in. I think it I think it's the right play. I think it is. Because if I reset my uh, Kyurem speed tearing, I think Kyurem's the fastest thing on the board. And he, I think he might fake out my Zekrom this turn anyways. Like, there's no reason to protect with it. Just to force it. So see what he goes for. Yep. Fake out there. Moongeist Beam. I don't really care who he targets at this point. I mean, I mean, let's see who he hits, right? I think he's hitting the, uh, the Kyurem slot, yeah. But it's not going to KO because we're extra thick. All right. So at this point, I think you actually have to nuke the Incineroar. Like, Incineroar shouldn't be able to protect itself, right? But Lunala probably can. So let's just go Fusion Bolt and Sacred Sword into Incineroar. I think this Kartana's... He doesn't know. Well, actually, he doesn't know how bulky we are, but I think that Lunala might actually be able to outspeed us. As weird as that sounds, but I think he might be protecting. I think he might be protecting and, like, for what's in hard switching in uh, Kyogre... And, uh, oh, that wouldn't be good. He's going for it. Yeah, he just, he just, uh, really? Maybe he does know exactly. Like, I'm, I'm using a QR team. It's a pretty popular one, so maybe he does know that he's faster than us. Oh, he's hitting Zekrom! That is an incorrect target, my guy! Oh, last time I checked, that was an incorrect target. We are going to get the KO on the Incineroar with the Kartana. That's absolutely massive, by the way. Like, that's pretty freaking big. Uh, Kartana gets an attack boost. And, uh, Fusion Bolt! Goes right into the Lunala. I don't think I'm going to get a KO because I'm double intimidated, but like, yes, that big damage. And I don't think he has like a berry. I, I think, actually, what? Do did we see an item on that thing? I don't know if we've seen the item yet, but like, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Reshiram, sorry, Kurem still has a good amount of HP. Let's think about how I want to do this. Kyogre can't protect itself. I think if we throw both of our big moves into the Ogre, we'll get it. The only thing that can protect itself is that Lunala. So you might, we might as well just go all in on the Ogre. He can KO maybe one of our Mons. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. I don't know if that KOs. Like, I, don't, I don't think you KO my guy. Oh, extra thick Zekrom! By the way, BT Dubs, Zekrom with Misty Seeds. How bulky am I right now? That's just so big. He's going to be able to KO the Kartana. Kartana did its job, but like... Show me the bolt strike. Yes. Now I'm a minus two. I'm a minus two, but this is the power of bolt strike, my guys. Like, that's a lot of damage. Tailwind Peter's out on both sides. How do I want to do this? I have Kurem coming in. That Kyogre is faster than my Kurem, but he's locked into Ice Beam, which could, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Now, what I'm thinking is going to happen here is I kind of want to try to... I, if he Ice Beams my Zekrom, right, he, he could go Ice Beam Zekrom and attack. The only way that I get out of this is if I protect Zekrom and take out the Lunala this turn. I think that's how I actually get out of this. I mean, even if I Icy win, there's no guarantee that this Reshiram Kyurem is faster. And we won't even guarantee. Actually, we'll probably KO the Lunala with Icy Wind. I think I'm going to Icy win. I think I'm going to try it. I think that's the right play. I think I can KO the Lunala with it. Like, I stab it. <laughs> it's either Icy Wind here, or just Earth Power the Lunala. And I think Icy Wind gives me a little bit more freedom. Because that way Kira might be faster than Kyra next turn. So Zekrom's going to overprotect. I'm just trying to block Ice Beam here. That's what we're trying to do. are trying to block the Ice Beam. Survey says Ice Beam blocked. That's what I'm talking about now. Kira 
Please be faster. No! Why are you so slow? Wait, I thought it was full speed. What is up with that Lunala set? Is it? It's not Scarf, because we know that Scarf's an ogre. I think we're going to get KO'd. Live! No! 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 Why did we got to lose? Ah, yeah, we lost. Buckets. All right, well. Yeah, I tried. I do not know what's up with that Unala set. Like, uh, that's like if we're using a QR code and not fully, like, realizing how it worked. Um, you know, because I just, I just go, I just pick a QR team and go into these games. But, uh, that Unala had to have been full speed then. Because, like, this Reshiram, sorry, Kyurem is pretty fast as well. I just briefly looked at its stats. And I know that, like, Kyurem's not slow. So, like, if it's full speed, the only way that you're going to outspeed it with the Lunala is if you're full speed as well. I think Lunala has, like, 97 base speed. Uh, let's check what Kyurem's base speed is. Survey says... I thought it was faster than Lunala. That's why I went with that play. And you know what? The Lunala was faster than my, my uh, Kartana as well. Yeah, see, Kyurem's base 95. So, Lunala's base 97, Kyurem's 95. So, no one's half the battle, guys. Can't win them all, but we're going to go into another one. All right, we're hopping on ranked now, and what do we see but another Kyurem White? We see Kyurem White, Groudon. I do not know how Groudon and Abomus Snow are going to make plays here, but we also see uh, Incineroar, Bronzong, and Sableye. So probably some Gravity plays here. I'll take some Gravities. Like, I use a lot of Bolt Strikes. I mean, I haven't missed so far, but you know what? I think we're going to be okay. What's really good is there's only, like, two real big forms to, like, fake out. We see, like, Incineroar and Sableye. Sableye, I guess, can go for, like, quashes and stuff like that. I assume he's going to be trying to trick room the heck out of me. So what we need to be doing is leading with a lot of things that, like, demand a lot of respect here. We're going to lead Bisharp for sure. I'm thinking about going Bisharp. Do I really want to go, like, Bisharp, Kartana? I mean, I can't really stop his trick room. The best I could do is go, like, Kartana, sorry, Bisharp and Zekrom and go, like, Bolt Strike and try to, uh, oh, that'd be funny. Try to paralyze his Bronzong. I think I'm gonna go Bisharp, Kyurem. And then we gotta still bring the Zekrom. And then against this core, I think Feeny might be alright. It's good against, like, the Groudon, right? Uh, against the rest of them, it has good typing to, like, switch into block moves. If I get Trick Room, though, it's going to be a really rough game. It's going to be a really rough game, and I don't really think I can stop the Trick Room. Like, if he was Incineroar and Bronzong, like, I can't do that much about it, like I said, other than go for some sort of, like, weird hacks plays. But let's see what he goes for. Uh, we're leading Bisharp, though. Bisharp's going to be pretty good. Uh, even if he leads Incineroar, he's probably going to have to fake out the Bisharp, otherwise he just gets one-shotted. So, Groudon Bronzong. That works. I will be attacking that Bronzong real hard. So, Kyurem and Bisharp on the board. This is the board that likes to pick on Bronzong, right? <laughs> like, this is it. So, Blazing Aura. Note that uh, I think that went before the Groudon, so that means we're probably faster than him. Like I said, I really do think he's going for some sort of... Well, I mean, I'll eat a Presbus Blades. I really don't care. Fusion Flare and Knock Off. Now, I bet Knock Off is just already enough to do it. I don't think I have to Icy Wind. But, uh... Like, I, I, I probably could get away with Icy Wind and Knock Off and, like, chunk the Groudon because it is super effective stabbed, and it would be single target. But uh, Fusion Floor, yeah, Kyurem's faster than Bishop. So we gotta go for the Fusion Floor. The big damage! Powered up by the power of the sun. Pick up the one at KO there, and then, then, what's really cool is we redirect the Groudon, get this big Knock Off. Like, I'm totally fine with this. Show me that big damage. Knocking off a Life Orb, I... Like, I guess I'll knock off the life orb. I guess I'll take a little bit of less damage, but I'd rather him, like... I'd almost, I'd almost be like, you can keep that if you take a little more damage. You know what I mean? You can keep it. So, uh, clocks my sash. That's all right. And uh, I have to assume Incinera's coming out, but then, like, bruh, I got a bit sharp. Oh, he's bringing his own Kyurem. Okay. I see what you're working with, my guy. I see it. I think what I'm going to actually do is just protect Bisharp and Icy Wind this turn. I think I'm going to do that. And then next, I'm going to go for, like, the biggest possible Iron Head on his Kyurem. So going to Icy Wind, get a little speed control going. And we are going to be protecting now. It might be a Scarf Kyurem. It totally could be. He could, like, Scarf Dragon Pulse me. He could Scarf Draco. My Kyurem, I think that's still fine. So Icy Wind. Looks like I'm the fastest thing on two legs once again. So Kyurem comes out. Big Icy Wind. This is going to actually be huge. Look how much damage the Groudon takes. <laughs> That's so big. 
For an icy win? Can you believe that? Guys, chat, come on. Like, people watching, can you believe that damage? He was for the raw blizzard in the sun! Yo, you're crazy, my Kirim. You're crazy. You know what? You deserve... Oh my gosh, that's specs. That's, that's so specs. That's the most specs things I've ever... That's the most specs things I've ever seen. And he sword dances Kragasm! Oof, that is some scary stuff. I think we have to bring Feeny in, don't we? Like, alright, if I bring in Zekrom, right? If I were to bring in Zekrom, its moves are Tailwind, Fusion Bolt, Bolt Strike. Not great. I think we're going to bring Feeny in here. And, uh, yeah, Feeny is on deck. Also, I should probably bring Feeny to start my Misty Terrain so my Zekrom can get his Misty Seeds boost a little bit later on in the game. Now, I do not know if I can one-shot a Kurem White, a Specs Kurem White, with an Iron Head, but I will, I will dang try. So Moonblast goes into Groudon, that's fine. And Iron Head, super effective. This is an Adam and Bishrap, guys. It's about as most damage as you're going to possibly do. It's going to be Incineroar switching, I think. And uh, I'll take those boosts, by the way. BT Dubs, those are my boosts. I will take them. And he doesn't know that my Feeny specs. He might know right now once he sees that it's faster than Bisharp. Oh, all right, so my Defiant Prox. I think, I think I'm going to win. I think I got this. I think I got it. So he's protecting there. I kind of wish he didn't, but it's okay. So what we're going to do next turn is just go for Protect, Bisharp, and Moonblast. Ooh, actually, let's see. Let's think about this. We got to get the Groudon off the board. It has, like, way too much damage right now. The Groudon has, like, absolutely too much damage. I don't think I really need... Yeah, we're going to nuke the Groudon. Because I, I think he's going to fake out the Feeny. Let me think about which one of these is actually better to do. Like, I'd, I'd rather go for an Iron Head in case he switches out. No, I'd rather go for a knockoff. It's not very, they're both not very effective on Incineroar, but, like, one will take away his item. So he's going for a Fake Out. I think he's targeting the Feeny. Yeah, so this is the right play. I play a Pokemon, guys! So this is the right play. He's like, oh, I could have Fake Out of the Bisharp. Why didn't you protect? And it's like, bruh, if you didn't have that Sword Sense in the crowd on, I would have just protected. If he would not have had a Swords Dance, I'd have been like, that's fine, I don't care. But he did have a Swords Dance, so I most definitely care. So, uh, Kurem is on deck, and I really think that's going to be a Specs Kurem. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go in for a Moonblast into it, and a plus one Sucker Punch. And if he goes for a Protect, that means I'm just not scared of it, you know what I mean? But I really think he's forfeit. That, that was the most Specs Kurem. I knew he was Specs because he took out my Kurem with, like... Uh, an AoE, not super effective blizzard. I was like, yo, you took me out from like, remember how bulky we were in game one? And like, you took me out with that blizzard? That's totally spec. So really cool, really cool set seeing specs QRM. Oh man, I can't believe that I just one shot of that bronze on either. Pretty cool game. I would say Bisharp put a lot of its carry pants on that game. The one turn really came down to hitting more with the fake out on Feeny and is stealing the KO on his Groudon. So hopefully you guys like this type of team. If you guys like the type of team, uh, you guys can use it for yourself. I'll be leaving a link to the QR code in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you guys like the content, feel free to, again, like, comment, subscribe. We're really trying to grow the channel. And like this, like I said, this is my first, probably my first day since like the fourth of like the month that i haven't been sick i've been so sick for like most of this month and i really apologize but we're gonna be back on that grind making a ton more content hope you guys like this team we'll be using it for the next few videos so thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out